Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19. Uh, I thought I'd wait till I was inside the car to start talking just in case some of the wind noise would uh, make it difficult to hear, but not too long ago I made a uh, video with the BRZ, a little point of view driving video, and uh, you guys seem to like that, so uh, I say we do it with the Corvette, only this time we have an external mic on the exhaust, so we'll hook that up, but uh, without any further ado, let's get started up. So hopefully this is gonna work according to plan with the external mic. Copyright music, damn, again. Okay, uh, hopefully uh, I won't get marked for that one. I don't know what that was. Anyway, uh, <laughs> without further ado, I got a mic uh, hooked up by the exhaust and we got this one rolling, so we'll just use the audio from both. Uh, one thing with the BRZ's uh, point of view video is the BRZ doesn't make all the best sounds in the world. It is a quiet exhaust uh, versus this one. Uh, make some good noises. So unless you're, uh, or just in case you're new to this channel, this is a 2015 uh, Corvette C7 Z51 equipped with the eight speed automatic. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Now this is not my car. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, if I were getting a Corvette today, it would be a Grand Sport with the seven speed, even though I haven't driven it, I've heard great things about it. But um, the eight speed is what we got today. So uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the heads up display down there. But uh, the way I got everything set up is I have touring mode on. I'm not going to do sport just on the public roads. Uh, so I got touring mode, but I have track steering um, and track exhaust. So that way the baffles are a little or the valves are open a little bit more. And I got the stiffest steering, which people say it's too stiff. But if you set every mode to the track steering, you actually get used to it really quickly and you grow to like it very, very quickly. So I like the stiffer steering now. Um, anyway, um, whether you change modes, let's go over to sport. Uh, and track, you're gonna see that the center display does not change anymore. That's because I set the heads up display. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Hopefully I'll try to get a close up, but I set the heads up display to be the hockey stick with lateral G's, miles per hour, and then the gear I'm in. Uh, I set this one to be the sport uh, display, kind of like the good tachometer with the uh, G's in the center there, uh, lateral and everything else, uh, all four ways. Um, but anyway, so I kind of have the sport there and the track there in all modes, but we're gonna be in touring today with track uh, steering and exhaust. Hope that makes sense. We're gonna go straight to manual and uh, let's get to it. I'm thinking I'm going to take a right first, and it's going to be a little bit boring probably initially, uh, but maybe I'll just fast forward. this eight speed transmission before and why I like it and dislike it at the same time and why I would get a seven speed. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead, check that out at the end of this video. Uh, pretty much in short, I do like the transmission. I think it performs really, really well, but it's just not on par to other paddle shifts today, like a PDK, but for the cost difference, the price difference, uh, yeah, you don't really expect it to be, but I am excited about the 10 speed. This road makes some weird noises. I'm sorry if you hear that, it sounds like a ghost. Um, but I am excited about the 10 speed paddle shift uh, that's in the ZL1. If that can make it down to the Corvette, that would be kind of exciting. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking uh, midway through this drive, if the weather keeps cooperating, we'll just pull over and take the roof off and uh, see if we get any more exhaust sounds that way too. But uh, anyway, we have some traffic, but that's all right. We're gonna take a right pretty soon here and the uh, road is pretty fun. So maybe I'll just skip to when we take a right. All right, fast forward a little bit. We're gonna take a ride on this road. This gets pretty fun here.
turns into a residential area here, so we'll go ahead and pipe it down. All right, should open up again here. So there is, uh, we're back where we started now, so there's kind of like one kind of lap around that. So I say we uh, take the roof off. Might be kind of a long video, but hey, you guys can stop watching wherever you want. But till then, let's go ahead and uh, remove the roof. wondering why I have a camera on my head that's all right all right this time I say we go left
right, so it seems like we caught traffic. I think that's gonna be the end of this one. Anyway, uh, hopefully the audio comes out okay, but thank you guys for watching and have a great day.